Hi there, I'm Alex, AKA Squid Tips. And today we're gonna watch some crazy clips of truckers losing their trailers. Let's go. So this is something that I never considered I actually had to be scared of, was an A-ton truck second trailer just flying out of my lane next to me. Great. Uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, he saved it. He saved it. That's good. That's not too bad. That poor guy's gonna get to his destination and realize he left half his shipment on a highway 3,000 miles away. That was, I don't know if you caught that, that was really nice that that other truck driver kind of flashed his lights and was like, hey, hey, you, you left something behind. Making the pass. Uh, uh. Look, I get that you want to get to your destination faster, but you're carrying two trailers you're just gonna pass some random truck on a two-lane highway? You know it was gonna take 45 minutes for him to get enough speed to get around that truck. Not worth. Oh, you can see. Oh no! Oh, that wasn't too bad. Notice you can see the lights turn off from the trailer as it disconnects from it. I guess that's a good way to maybe know that there might be something wrong if the brake lights go from suddenly on to off. First off, that biker, what the fuck? Like, he, dude, he's so up on the ass of that car for absolutely no reason. And this guy riding this scooter, putting his foot down? Flintstone brakes don't work on motorcycles. That's a, that's a pro tip if you don't ride or if you're a new rider. Jamming your feet down is not the solution. Oh, but he survives. He survives, okay. I guess it worked. What do I know? The fuck do I know? That was a little bit like the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom run, where you just see the boulder coming and you're just like. This is just waving back and forth. Do, like, do you think that he sees this happening? Is, is the driver not paying any attention to their mirrors at all, like seeing this stuff happen? Or is this just a thing that happens all the time and they're just like, yeah, that's fine. I, do, I literally, every time I drive this is like this. It just wobbles back and forth like a building in an earthquake. <laughs> also, if I was right behind them and this was happening, I don't think I'd be laughing. I think I'd be fucking terrified. I don't, th I think I'd be so far back in the event that that shit just flew off of it and Final Destination style tried to fucking kill me. Uh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near this, but hey, more power to him. Man, I guess it seems, I, I mean, we've now seen a number of these, right? It seems to me that you would notice if your vehicle just suddenly started accelerating significantly faster while you're on the pedal. Uh, how do these people not notice this stuff just flying off the back? Oh no, he's got to watch it fly past him. Oh, 
<laughs> Did you see that? The way that the wheel flew out and then back in? Like, what a save that was. Uh, I Just for a second, I thought it was going to be totally fine. Um, these roads look horrible. Did you see how many potholes and shit were in there? Like, I, I wonder if that's almost part of why this happened was that it was just so uneven that it created the uh, that kind of back and forth motion to lose uh, to lose its kind of center of gravity and uh, fall over. That, that would be kind of a surreal moment though to kind of be driving and then look to your left and see that the trailer that you were previously hauling is like beating you down the road. Oh, oh, nope, corrected. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. At no point during that thing did he st think to slow down. It, are these people like looking in the mirror like, yeah, it only swerved to me like 10 feet over to the left past my mirror. I really only need to be concerned when it gets to, like 15, 20 feet. No. Uh, oh, sick dodge, dude. Sick dodge. Uh, womp womp. Hey, at least he noticed quick. Oh, oh I think he did. I think he tagged it. Did he tag it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he totally did. He totally got the top right. That sucks. Oh, you'd have fucking glass in your car and every oh, that would be so annoying. That's kind of a tricky part about having a lot of snow. Um, so the reason there are these huge berms is because uh, in places like this where you get a lot of snow, large plows come through and plow the, the uh, snow off to the side so that the, the roads are clear and you can actually drive them. You can see that there are kind of like two track marks on each side where cars are kind of driving normally. And every once in a while, something big like this comes by that has larger wheels or something. And if your wheel gets into the, that berm area where more of the snow is plowed up on, it actually kind of gets sucked up that way because you, you lose traction, you're not able to control it on those sides. So if you're driving in the snow like that, you, you definitely want to stay away from large packs of snow. Oh. Oh. That could have been so much worse. It looks like he's just going too fast around that corner. Uh, all that weight, I mean, if there's any loss of traction, these are wet roads. I mean, who knows? There could even be ice. It looks like it's mostly like wet snow. It doesn't take much. These trailers are so heavy that even just a slight amount of loss of, of connection with the road and you're going to get something like this. Slow down, slow down, just slow down. You can save it, you can save it. He did it, he did it. Unbelievable, unbelievable. These people, this does not look, none of this is skill. This looks like people are just AFK at the wheel and coincidentally it saves itself behind them. This is just a normal thing in Russia. People don't even slow down. You can see that truck 150 meters ahead of them with the trailer flying out the backside. And this guy doesn't even slow down. The best that happens is as he goes by, he just kind of leans it to the right a little bit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button in this area, I think. If you got to the downvote button, you went too far, so it's just before that. And hit the subscribe button to see more. If you're a previous subscriber, you probably noticed that we're trying out a new format. We would love to hear any feedback you have on it down in the comments. If you're into motorcycle stuff, you can check out my channel called Squid Tips, where I talk about everything motorcycles, and we even deep dive into some motorcycle wrecks to try to learn from other people's misfortune. Until next time, stay safe out there. Do you like motorcycles? Are you tired of boring motovloggers talking under their helmets about basically nothing?
So then I ate like a sandwich and it was so badass. Looking for a classier, more refined conversation about motorcycles and related topics? Shit. I'm Alex, aka Squid Tips. The key to my incredible success is the secret ingredients that I put into each of my videos. Squid Tips, conversations for the motorcycle riding connoisseur. Why don't you subscribe today? It's free and painless, mostly.